Thank you. You may call your next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. We'd like to call Gwyneth Paltrow. Thank you. Do you swear that the testimony you are about to give in the case now before the court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Put that there. Seems like the evening, doesn't it? I've been inside all day. I have no <laughs> idea. You and me both. <laughs> Could you state your name and spell it for the record, please? Yes, my legal name is Gwyneth Kate Paltrow Falchuk. That's G-W-Y-N-E-T-H-K-A-T-E-P-A-L-T-R-O-W-F-A-L-C-H-U-K. Great, thank you. May I call you Miss Paltrow? Sure. Okay, fantastic. As you've seen the last few days, we always have the witnesses give background information, tell about yourself, etc. I have a feeling that everybody in the courtroom knows who you are, so we're not going to go through all the background. We're just going to kind of cut to the chase. Is that fair? Sounds fine. All right, wonderful. Let's just talk about skiing. My understanding is that you are pretty much an intermediate type skier. I would characterize myself as intermediate. Okay. You've been skiing since you were a child. I have. Okay. Um, do you do black diamonds, blues, greens? I'm not really a skier, so you've got to kind of help me out with this. I prefer to do more blues than blacks. Okay. And blue is intermediate, right? Under black? Yes. Okay. And the bandana run where this accident occurred, it was a green run? Yes, to All my right. recollection. Fantastic. So as an intermediate skier, would you say that you skied enough to at least be familiar with the rules of skiing? I think so, yes. All right, and what are those rules? I think, you know, use common sense, ski safely, be aware of other skiers around you. Okay. What about skiing in control? Is that something that you need to do? Yes, okay. absolutely. Um, you have to give the right of way to those who are downhill? Yes. Okay. Um, you also have certain responsibilities if you're in a collision, is that fair? Yes, which I learned more about post the collision. I bet. <laughs> you, you've probably been hit over the head after, with all of that information <laughs> since the time, right? Indeed. Okay. Um, so let's talk about those things. Did you know the rules at the time of the collision that if you're in a collision with someone, you need to give your name and information, contact information? So because I was hit by Mr. Sanderson and he was at fault, I assumed that Eric, who was our ski instructor who was there at the time, who was overseeing the event, he said, I'm going to leave all of your information. And he said, you should go ski down because my kids were waiting for me. And, and I appreciate that. But my question was, did you know of the rule of skiing if you are in a collision that you need to share that information? Your Honor, this is irrelevant. Claim. Overruled. I've overruled. Go ahead. Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. At the time of the collision, were you aware of the rule that if you're in a collision, you need to share your name, your contact information with the person that you're involved in a collision with? I don't think I was aware of the rule. Okay. Were you aware that there is kind of a rule of common decency to do that? I would not have left the scene without leaving my information, and my information was left. Did you provide that information? No, Eric Christensen, who was the ski instructor with us, said he would leave all the information. You don't know if he did or did not, though, do, do you? You weren't there when he did. Well, subsequently, I know that he did. I I'm not asking that. I'm asking when you were there at the collision, you didn't ensure that it was given. You weren't there when it was given. I was not there when it was given. All right. And it's also, I think you even admitted in your deposition that it's the rule of common decency to make sure that everybody's okay, exchange information, and to follow those skiing rules. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's talk about that day. 
after I get a drink. Okay. I'll have one as well. Do you have water? Oh, we have some I water. do. Thank okay, you. Great. So I just want to kind of set the stage. Um, you're skiing that day. My understanding, it was a nice conditions, beautiful day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and Deer Valley, we know that Deer Valley is always immaculately groomed. Good conditions on the slopes. Good conditions. All right. You were skiing that day with your daughter, Apple, correct? Yes. Moses. Mm-hmm. My son. And um, Brad Falchuk, who was your boyfriend at the time, now current husband. Correct. All right. And his two children. That's right. Right. And his kids were the same approximate age as yours on the day of the ski collision. They all remain the same age. <laughs> That's a <laughs> as very, each other. <laughs> very good point. More like the, the Brady Bunch. The girls are the same age. Boys are the same age. All right. And back then, it was 12 and 9? 11 and 9. 11 and 9. All right. Fantastic. And the day of the collision, I think you um, had been to Deer Valley twice prior to that I believe time? so. Okay. And this was the first day of your ski trip? I think that's correct. Okay. Um, and I don't know how many days you were there, but I know at least from what you've told us that after that first day, um, you also skied the next day. Yes. Okay. So when Mr. Sanderson was at home, you were skiing? I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. So the children, um, all four of them, had lessons during that trip? That's right. Okay. Would you agree that those lessons were fairly expensive? They were. Okay. Do you remember about how much they were? Um... I would have to check. Whatever the Deer Valley rate is, is what we paid. Okay. And if Let me know if this is about right, at least from what I saw in your deposition. The total bill was around $8,980. Does that sound about right for four? I think that misstates the evidence. I think that was for both families. For, for four? Four kids? I, I would honestly have to check. Okay. All right. Do you... That's, that's fine. But it's very expensive. Very expensive. Very. Right. And then tips on top of that. Yes. Okay. And I'm assuming, and you're under oath here, <laughs> that you're a good tipper. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, all right. So let's talk about your daughter, Apple. She was 11. She was. Okay. And her instructor was Carrie Oaks. That's correct. All right. And um, Apple at the time was a good beginner. Yes. Okay. And your son, Moses, he was nine at the time? Yes. And he was more so of a real beginner? Yes. All right. And his instructor was Eric Christensen? Correct. Okay. And I think both Carrie Oaks and Eric are coming next week. I believe so. All right. Fantastic. So three days ago, um, can you believe it's been only three days? No. <laughs> Me neither. So three days ago, uh, Mr. Owens... Um, in his opening, talked about risky behavior, risky skiing. Mm -hmm. And he made mention that, you know, of course, Miss Paltrow was not skiing um, recklessly, not taking any kind of risky behavior because her children were there that day. Do you recall him saying that? I think it does misstate my testimony, but. Well, it wasn't testimony that you stated. My, my uh, argument. Can you answer the question? Let's if see. I remember what he said? No, just maybe do you agree with that? That on that day of the collision, you were not engaging in any, in any kind of risky behavior, especially Correct. because your kids were there. I was not engaging in any risky behavior. Okay, but also, and I think your counsel made mention of this in opening, that especially because your children were there. I don't recall him saying that. All right, well, did your children being there... Um, make it so that you especially would not engage in risky behavior? I, I didn't engage in risky behavior. I, I wouldn't with my children there or without my children there. Okay. And kind of in life, I mean, I'm a mom, right? I've got a couple kids, um, actually about your age, and one of them, not your age, your, your daughter's age. Sorry, I'm not that old. Um, 
when my kids are around, I kind of behave myself a little bit better, especially when they were younger, mm -hmm. than on average. Would you agree with that? I, I've always been very open and honest with my kids, mm -hmm. and um, some I, I think, you know, they know me very well. Mm -hmm. Right. And would you agree that you have engaged in risky behavior with your children present? Your Honor, may we approach? Sure. 